Howdy folks, welcome to the next episode, I, what is this, six or seven, something like that. So anyway, what we're going to do is, I am over here, because I stopped in the middle of the air. <laughs> you, if you exit to the menu when you're in the middle of the air, it just kills you and, like, puts you back at a, a you know, puts you back at, like, a thing as if you crashed and stuff. So anyway, what we're going to do is, I'm going to teleport, I've got a m spot marked on the map, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go teleport to mark on map. And we're going to do that. And you need to be hovering when you do that. Uh, if you want to actually, you know, not die. So, yeah, because basically, unless you, the ground level is identical at the other place, it's basically going to put you in the air and you're going to fall uh, kind of thing. Or you're, like, under the ground or whatever. It doesn't teleport you vertically. It only teleports you, like, horizontally. <laughs> unless they fixed that recently. But let me see. Where is the... Um, there is over here somewhere... Where is it? There's this fossil right here, and there's a... Where is it? It's on the end of the fossil, isn't it? Yeah, it's right over here. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go over to the excavations thing, and we're going to see... We're going to try uh, flying this thing in airplane mode now and see what we can do as far as getting... Um, as far as getting the uh, huh, high level of ski. As far as, as, far as uh, playing airplane mode with the... Uh, the which we call it enabled slow down our descent here with the uh well with the with the patch and with um uh you know cargo that's the word i'm looking for <laughs> i'm trying to talk while i'm flying so yeah <laughs> so that's always a recipe for disaster so let's get spun over here see if we can can we do it all right this thing is so picky when your ship is bigger all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come here, and what do they have? They have fossil samples. Okay, we're going to try flying this fossil samples, and it's an extremely fad, fragile load. This should be a formula for hilarity ensues, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is the this is the testing branch again. Uh, see the last episode if you want to um, if you want to know how to do that, how to enable it. I wonder what this thing is here. I wonder what that is. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So we have fossil samples. That's kind of cool. That's interesting. All right. And so what happens when we go backwards here then? I'm curious because it has like this don't go there thing, right? You know, do we get zapped or something? Or <laughs> the ship just explodes. Um, yeah. Okay. Nothing. Nothing happens. All right. So we're going to go to... Let's check our map again. It wanted us to go to... Where was our, our, uh, whatchamacallit, here? Is it power plant that we're going to, or Orient Research? It must be power plant, okay. All right, so we're going to go to power plant, and I think we're going to see if we can take off here gently. Now, I think they did fix the, this is a newer version since the last time. It's a uh, small update since the last time I did this. So we're going to try, um, where is the power plant? It's, it's to our left. Okay. So we're going to try taking off. I think we're going to try taking off in airplane mode again. We'll see if we can do that. But I don't, it's, as far as I know, you can't turn in airplane mode. The other thing is the trim here. They actually made it so that it properly reverses. And we're going to go like this. Is this? Nope, that's still that. So we're going to switch to airplane mode. There we go. And... See if we can do this. We're gonna put our flaps down. There we go. See if we can take off here. Wow. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Kind of scary. All right. And I think we're gonna try. See if we can. Can we turn the flaps off here? All right. Let's see if we can. We're not turning again. We're at a 30 degree bank angle and it's like, it's gonna take, whoa, it's gonna take an hour. Whoa, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's gonna take like an hour to, to do that. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so, see, that's the thing is, we've got all of these obstacles on the ground to contend with. This thing is just not going to let me turn, is it? 
We've got all these obstacles on the ground to contend with. Come on. <laughs> now I'm at like at a 40 degree bank angle now. Yeah, we're turning a little bit better. But man, it's like... Well, and I'm climbing so much too, you know? That's the thing is, why am I climbing so much? Because I'm, I'm banked that far. I shouldn't be climbing as I'm doing that. But anyway. I just... It's... <laughs> It's still, okay, it was, I, I swear it felt better last time. Maybe, I don't know if the the uh, fossils on board are having an effect on that or what. But we're going to go back into airplane mode here. And we're going to try turning up the, uh, we used half of our fuel already? Really? Did we really use our half of our fuel or what? That can't be possible. Look at how fast it's going down. 26. How much time? We have a minute 38. Really? Why? Okay, so we're going to slow down here and see if maybe we can... I mean, I know we're at a lower altitude, so that doesn't help. But we're going to try dropping some throttle here and see if maybe we can... Yeah, see if we can get a little bit more distance out of this. And go like this. Drop some throttle and get some altitude. Now, when you're at lower altitude, the atmosphere's thicker and... You know, you basically, you get more friction. It, it's, it takes more power to go the same speed at a lower altitude. And I know they exaggerate that because it's a game, and that's totally cool. But, <laughs> but it makes it interesting when you have to fly at low altitude. And, uh, oh, come on. It makes it interesting when you have to fly at low, al low altitude and, uh, and the, the, because of the ski level and everything. So we've got a range of 32, it says. Okay, yeah, we're going to make it there. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird because, you know, we used to be that you flew at about, what, 400? 340 is the sound barrier, and you were flying at 400 meters per second instead of 143. So it's like, you know, what, two and a half times the speed and so it's just a completely different experience. Okay. Yeah, it's just a completely different experience flying at this at this rate. So we're gonna try to keep our thing level. Now we are not gonna be able to land in airplane mode. So this is gonna be the trick is are we gonna be able to swap to to whatchamacallit? So we're gonna try going like this like this and we're gonna bring our here we're gonna go like this whoops see if we can do this without hitting two G's right alright there we go alright and we're gonna do this I think we're going to come in like this. We need to slow down a little bit. Battery charge is below 30%. Okay, interesting. All right, we're going to look down. There we go. There's our landing view. So I think we're going to need to come over this way a little bit. There. And we're going to try to stay at under 10 because this is a fragile load. Come on. Because it's going to float as we hit here. You know how that goes. We hit our ground bubble. There we go. And we're going to slowly put this thing down. Right? There we go. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful landing there. All right. Oh, did it? Did it just do that? It totally did when we land. <laughs> All right. It just it bumped on the last like two inches. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> it's about five centimeters for those of you on the metric system. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's <laughs> see what we've got. It's ninety nine percent. So we still got we still got most of the, right? Can we sell it? Yeah. See, it's still got most of its value. It's, the price is reduced by ten credits. 
because of 99% damage. I don't know what 99% is in metrics, so we're going to sell it. <laughs> and we'll try some G-type batteries here. Let's see, where do these go? We can go to any of these places. Sure, why not? It's not like they have anything else for sale, right? We're going to recharge. And we'll go over to the other place too. We'll see if maybe we can get two thingies. There we go. See if maybe we can get two thingies. And this is still loading, isn't it? Yeah, it's still loading. But we're going to go to this little, the, the crater thingy and see if we can get another, uh, another load. So we're going to go like this. Do this. It looks fairly... Oh, you know what? I don't think we're going to do that because we are fully loaded. Oh, cool. Okay. So we don't have to do that. All right. We're going to go to EVR, it was. I think that was one of them, right? Where is it? It was north 61 kilometers. I don't think we're going to make 61 kilometers on this, on this thing. So we're going to go like this... There we go. All right, we're going to get some forward motion here. And we need some altitude, too. So let's go like this. And we'll get some... There we go. There we go. All right. And is this... Yeah, we've got a lot more... Uh, a lot more height. Okay. Cool. So we may need to stop and land on the ground somewhere in order to do this. You know what, the thing is EVR, if we're doing that in plane mode, EVR is, doesn't have a landing strip. So that was kind of a bad decision, wasn't it? <laughs> but I want to see how this thing does in, in airplane mode. Now it says our top speed is 227, but we're not going to make it that far in... Let me see, we need to keep climbing here, is what we need to do. Because we're not going to make it that far at 227. At full throttle, we're definitely not going to make it that far. Meteorite was destroyed from safe distance. Okay. All right. That's it for today, though. So those are some news items. High level. It's, oh, man, I was just... I was just going to... You know... <laughs> it's coming down fast, isn't it? All right. What's the safe level going to be? Above one kilometer? A bowie. Above... <laughs> All right. So we'll. T I don't know. If we can stop at this one and refuel or what? Because I mean, we're already like halfway down. Now we're just using the stock ship too, so it's it's not like you know the stock ship should be able to do everything that you can possibly do in the game. Um, the stop the stock mid level ship at that. So I think what we'll do is we'll try to land over here at Orient Research. See where we are as far as the ski level. It doesn't it look like it's just right over our head? I mean, it's quite a, quite a bit above us. I'm gonna go like this, and let's drop our flaps. There we go. Okay. And. We're going to swap. I think we're going to switch to, uh, whoa. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. No. Way too much load on this thing. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a problem. <laughs> I totally forgot we had way too much uh, mass on this thing to do that. I needed to definitely um, not have any down downward <laughs> momentum before doing that. Uh, this is going to take forever to get through here. Okay, so I am not going to. I'm not going to wait. So we're going to go like this, and we're going to do that because otherwise it's going to take 20 minutes of watching the thing on autopilot. All right, so we are all the way back on which we call it. Yeah, we're all the way over here. Okay, and how do you erase? I don't remember how you erase. There, you have to click right click on it. Okay, so we're gonna go to here. Let's try. Does Concord have a landing strip? 
Concord has a landing strip. Why don't we go there? So we're going to go to here. We're going to set destination. We're going to exit out of the map. Get some altitude here. There we go. <laughs> no more derp, right? Okay, and then we're going to go like this. Teleport to mark on map. See? There we go. All right, and then we can come back down here there oh you know what I do need to be facing this other way don't I yeah I'm backwards okay so let's yeah let's get some let's get some uh, let's see what they have here and we'll try to do the whole airplane thing maybe even I don't know if you can turn before you you weren't able to turn while taxiing so we'll see if that's possible here Come on, you can do it. Now, it'd be nice if you could just do, like, teleport to station, and it would, like, place your ship handily on this this thing. Wow, four kilometers. That's what we need. We need that four-kilometer limit. The ski's the limit, right? <laughs> but, yeah, that's what, that's what we need is... is um, you need to be able to, to, uh, to teleport to this landing spot, you know? Okay, so... This is fragile, these are too heavy. So I guess we're gonna take this. And where's it go to? Anywhere? There's no there's not even a point of sale for it. <laughs> well, we're gonna buy it anyway because we wanna just we want the um we want the to test with the load, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna see how this goes. And we'll see what we can do. Twenty year old whiskey I like this I wonder if they changed the um, the timeline because the timeline was very close to how much time it would actually take to get somewhere and we're gonna go to the map let's open the map and let's see what we can do as far as as uh, yeah Raglar can we go to Raglar I think we can try landing at Raglar I, I think what we can do is we can try flying out here we're gonna fly over by cargo spaceway and then we're gonna fly back to Concord is what we're gonna do is I want to fly over there and then try flying back to Concord and try landing at Concord and we'll see what we can do with that so we're just gonna pretend that that's where we're going and and then we'll 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 take it from there because like I said we're just testing this I've got like what almost a million credits here too you know we're just we're just playing around now if we switch to airplane mode we switch to airplane mode See, you can't even taxi in airplane mode. Let's see. If I start taxiing, can I turn? Oh wow, it just barely moves. Huh. Okay, let's see if we can turn. Nope. Nope, it doesn't let me turn. Okay, so we're gonna have to taxi in in VTOL mode. Because it's not gonna let me taxi in. Come on, turn the engines off. There we go. Alright. Recently bought new drones. I was really looking forward to this. Um, at Metallic N. Where is Metallic N? That's really mean because I'd probably be in the air normally. There's Metallic N. Metallic N is... Let's check the map. Whoops. I keep trying to right click to drag the map. Metallic N is where? It's over here. Yeah, see, they, they don't have a landing strip though. So I want to try... I want to try with the landing strip. So we'll do that some future thing. Some future time. Come on there. Alright, so we're going to go up here, and I'm going to refuel, because I was dinking around with that. We're going to do the drone repair thingy. So, let's get backed up and lined up here. And we'll go like there. Go like this. <laughs> Just ran this guy over. Okay, let's get lined up here. All right, because like I said, you can't turn while you're going. I don't know. Maybe the uh, maybe the witch McCallis will turn. I like that they took the rocks out of there because that was a problem too. So let's go drone repair. That'll repair our ship and refuel it because we wasted our fuel. So we're gonna go flaps. Is it gonna tell me the flaps are engaged? Above one kilometer. Flaps? It's not telling me. Why don't I have a... Huh. Okay. 
Can I like this? No. I want to do this. Let's. Oh, that's why. Let's go like this. Airplane mode. We're going to do flaps. Are on. Okay. Cool. And we're going to go back into the pilot seat. Flaps are on. And let's do this. Full throttle. Wow. Look at how crooked that goes. That was... <laughs> That was horrible. It like turned on me. And you can't turn it. See, even doing that, you can't turn it like, like while you're on the ground and stuff. That's that's pretty bad. All right, so we're going to go over this way. And we're going to try to go to the... Um, we can turn the flaps off. There we go. Reduce our drag here. And we're going to go over toward Cargo Spaceway. So we're basically going to try to fly up to Cargo Spaceway and back. And I'm fine with... Um, using the uh, using the drone repair again if we need to refuel if that's if that's a necessity I'm totally fine with that it's cool the sun's going down right now too so let's see if we can get a little bit higher up get a little bit closer to the uh, the witch call it and yeah the thing still uses the radar still uses more power than the engines. <laughs> it's just... And I do not understand the developer's obsession with keeping it that way. They decided that, that they were going to change that. They were going to add... I don't know. Because you used to be able to use it for free. And it wasn't like, you know, some giant... Um, it's not like it's some huge, uh, you know, exploit or whatever. I, I think, it, honestly, I think it's that they don't want the game to look like that in in screenshots and videos and stuff like that. They don't want a whole lot of time, uh, the videos being spent, or you know what I mean? They don't want screenshots of the game looking like that or whatever, I don't know, maybe maybe that's what it is. But, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. But honestly, it's like, you need a better strategy for that, you know? You could overlay that over the over the thing too, because the original one, it just added the, the wind streams and it didn't add all the terrain stuff on there so much. But then you couldn't see through the fog. And so, you know, honestly, the biggest thing is, I think, to, to basically reduce the fog levels anyway. Because the fog and the clouds, there's some beautiful scenery out here, and you don't get to see any of it, cause, or much of it, because of, uh, <laughs> because of all the fog all the time. But anyway, see if we can get... We've got 25... It says we can make 25 more kilometers, right? I think that's I think that's just at at full power. It doesn't include you know uh, how much you can glide after you run out of fuel and all that stuff. So it's nine kil kilometers away. I think what we'll do we're not going to go all the way to Cargo Spaceway. It's I think we've gone far enough. So we're just going to make a big turn here and we'll come back. So we'll start our turn here see what we can do. We'll go to about a 30 degree bank angle here. That's up at the top. You see the 30 up there. That's our bank angle. Now see, it's really climbing. It's big time, like significantly climbing when we do that. There's Cargo Spaceway. There we go. See, it's climbing. I need to use... There we go need to use more rudder to keep from climbing. That's better. There we go. More rudder. No. Nope. See, changing the rudder. Is it? Maybe it is. Okay. Ooh, and it looks like the, uh, the ski level is going back up, too. Cool. Cool. So, we're going to go back to Concord. Brave Concord, you shall not have died in vain, right? <laughs> We're going to go back to Concord. And... <laughs> and try out the, the landing on this. So that should take us... What do we have? 2 minutes, 18 kilometers. Okay, so we're going to climb here. Get some extra... We're going to get some extra altitude here. So that we can hopefully uh, coast a little bit more. Where is the... Yeah, it's up there. Cool. Alright. How much is that? 
Yeah, see, it doesn't really say. As I say, it doesn't change. Wow. And apparently you can run into those guys, too. So, so be careful about that, <laughs> by the way. But yeah, it doesn't say, um, it doesn't change this number right here. It doesn't change when you turn on the AR to reflect how much extra fuel it's using. But yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to come down. And we're within 10. I think we need to get over this way more. So we need to get, yeah. We need to get a, a better aligned here. There we go. All right, let's turn on our flaps. There we go. And we're gonna see if we can Get over this way. There we go. All right, so we need to keep the end of the runway in vision, in our vision here, in our sights, and I think we need to drop some speed too. Because we need, we have too much speed and altitude, I think. There we go. A little bit a little bit uh, too slow here there we go honestly these ships float it's it's almost hard to to uh, to dive in them <laughs> if you put the nose down you can dive but I mean it's funny because like in a in a regular plane you uh, in any like plane that I've been doing in flight simulators and stuff like that when you uh, <laughs> when you do can we turn the labels off no, I can't turn the labels off. Okay. I could have swore you could do that before. And where is our wind? We have a headwind. Okay. See, we're coming in way too hot here. We need to go this way. <laughs> this is totally... This is not a stabilized approach. This is definitely not a stabilized approach. <laughs> 65... Yeah, definitely not a stabilized approach. Come on. We're just, we're going sideways. Here we go. There we are. And I swear the wind is coming that way too. No, we're not going to make that one. Okay, do a uh, go around. We're going to do a go around. All right. And you know what? I think we're going to try, um, we're going to go around and, uh, here. I don't want to gain too much altitude. We're going to turn around and we're going to try coming back on the other end of the runway. So, we're not... Okay. Charge level is low. That's nice. Alright, we're going to do this. We're turning way too hard with the flaps on. I can tell you that much. There we go. 59... Now, what is our speed that we have to go in order to keep our altitude without falling? That's the question. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can come in over the mountain here without hitting the mountain. There we go. Right there. Right there. Right there. Ah! All right. <laughs> hey, it didn't blow us up though. It did. It just did a bunch of damage, huh? All right. Let's let's do one more approach here. Let's go. Um... <laughs> that was funny. We just bounced off the runway. All right. I think we destroyed our cargo too. Did we? Fifty-six <laughs> percent. All right. Are we back in? I think we're back in. Yeah, we're back in VTOL mode. Okay. Let's go like this, and we'll try we'll try lining up a stabilized approach. The problem is I haven't done this at all in this thing, and so I honestly I have no idea um, what what kind of speed I need to stay stable. You know, why aren't we? Come on, you can do it. Barely, barely able to climb. 
I mean, this bar is really... That bar is really, uh... Way lower than... Yeah, we should be able to climb a lot more than that. Okay. Oh, you know what? Because we're filled with fuel, too. Okay, so let's switch to airplane mode. Put the flaps on. There we go. Alright, and we're going to try... I'm going to try doing this with the external view just to see if it's a little bit easier. See, we're dropping so hard here. Alright. Yeah, I cannot... Um, yeah, I I need to I need to figure out what speed and and angle of attack and everything are needed to. Uh... <laughs> there we go. Reverse, 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 reverse thrust, reverse thrust. <laughs> hey, we didn't break. We didn't blow up. <laughs> we didn't blow up. All right, success. That's a success. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, join me next time. I, I'm going to have to do some practice to figure out, you know, the landing, uh, what kind of approach vector I need as far as, you know, uh, how much throttle, how much velocity, how much uh, angle of attack and all that. So, because this thing just, it's either you're going really fast, way too fast, or you're like dropping like a stone. So... Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, join me next time, and uh, we'll try some more. We'll, we'll try a different plane or whatever, and we'll see you then. <laughs> Later. <laughs>